All right, guys. So today's video is um, kind of a vlog, I guess, uh, more than anything, kind of an update on what's going on. You have to excuse the weather. It's uh, you can't see it on the camera, but it's getting really dark over in here. Durr. And uh, there's some lightning, and there's some guys in the back shooting. Uh, doing this video for one of two things. One, we moved. Uh, me and my family moved down here in Utopia, Texas, um, about. Now, last October, so I guess we've been here about eight months. Got a couple more months to go before it's a year. So the reason I moved down here is because a customer of mine um, that I picked up in Fort, when I lived in Fort Worth had uh, started using me a lot and then make, kept making me offers to move down here. Finally made me an offer to move down here, and then uh, basically he'd be my only customer. I just do uh, nothing but his stuff, uh, work on his equipment. So... Offer is pretty good, so I operated my family from Fort Worth to move down to Utopia, and we bought this property. This is uh, 28 acres. All this over here is mine. Uh, the house. We've been doing a lot of work to it. You know, the um, oaks over there. All this stuff. Um, there's a road right over there, everything on this side of the road. But we've done a lot of work to this place, um, and a lot of time, a lot of money has gone into it so far been kind of whittling it down but um my wife doesn't really like it down here um we're 300 miles away from uh any kind of friends and family back home she had a uh, her grandmother passed away not you know, a couple of months ago and her mom's still in fort worth and it's her mom and dad but um she misses her mom and I'm sure a lot of you guys kind of have been there and done that, but you know, in my opinion, guys are supposed to be able to uproot ourselves and move anywhere in the country, anywhere in the world, and, and be okay. You know, most guys. My experience, that's how it is. Guys, we can live anywhere. You know, we'll call family, you know, and friends. We'll be okay. But on the other hand, families, it's, it's kind of different for them. Their family is their kind of core group of um, uh, support and uh, friendship and just people who they can fight in. And I think it's a lot bigger deal for women to move down here. So. We moved down here, um, we were both for it, and I'm still for it, I still like it down here, and I want to stay, but my wife doesn't, and she's unhappy down here, so, uh, keep the wife happy, we're going to sell the property down here, and move closer to Fort Worth, which, it's kind of a big decision, um, you know, uh, it's stressful, I really, like I said, I really do like it down here, I joined the, um, the fire department, I really like the fire department, fire department's got a bunch of great guys in it. Uh, made pretty good friends, really good friends there. Um, kind of become, in my opinion, an integral part of the fire department. But, you know, who knows? Um, you know, I really enjoy it. So the property's up for sale. And we're going to sell this property. I'm going to sell my house in Benbrook um, that I've been renting out. Going to get it. And I'm going to take that money and buy a property closer to Fort Worth with a shop. Which means... Um, I might not be working for this company full time, 100% of the time. I might have to pick up another customer up there, so I don't have to travel so much. But I'll still work for this customer, uh, current customer. And he told me, you know, he's like, man, we'll we'll work it out. We'll we'll figure something out. It'll be all right. And I can uh, still do all the road calls for him. Um, he can still send some work my way, you know, kind of deal. And it bothers me, but then again, it doesn't bother me because I've, I've always done well with anything I did. Um, it's just hard work and time and effort that you put into it, and I have no problem doing that, and I have no problem picking up cust new customers and dedicating a little more time to YouTube videos and stuff. So uh, that's the biggest news and everything. Something else, um, uh, the service truck. Some of you guys have been asking about a video about it, and I'm not going to make a, a full video on this service truck yet. Um... Uh, the main reason is it's kind of boring right now. The, the truck's kind of banged up, and I need to. Uh, I just ordered some new lights for it. I need to fix this bumper, replace it. All the tools that are in this green truck are the tools that were in my white truck. I had to take them out of my white truck and put them in this one. So the tools are exactly the same. There is no difference. Um, it's the exact same everything. But this truck is decked out a little different. It's four wheel drive. It's a V10. Um, uh, gasoline motor. It's got a compressor mounted over on the other side and stuff. I'll, I'll make a, a full video on uh, on this truck. Um, the other part is so far since I've been doing my YouTube video, I haven't had any uh, sponsors. I haven't had anybody, you know, try to 
I've had a couple, you know, hey, we'll send you this, you make a video, and I wrote them back, you know, and go, no, product's junk. One of them was the, um, the NOCO um, wire, the, the handheld charger deal. Some of you, know, all you guys subscribe to AVE, and AVE made a video on that uh, charger. He, he got it sent to him, he took it apart, he said it's, you know, most chinese junk piece of shit that he's ever seen, and, uh, you know, he couldn't suggest it or whatever, and then now the video is taken down. Uh, I, I can't find the video, I've looked on his channel. My guess is they sent it to him, he made a kind of a funny video, you know, tearing him apart, and then they kind of sent him a cease and desist deal, and he decided it wasn't worth it, which I understand, I mean, I'm... I'm not going to get an illegal lawsuit, you know, because blah, blah, blah. But um, the first company that has actually wanted to send me something that I actually need for the truck, and this is why I'm considering doing it, is a company called Oxbeam. Now, they've been uh, hammering YouTube uh, uh, creators for uh, quite a while with um, uh, lights, you know, send them light bars, LED lights, and crap like that. So on this truck... I have a couple of 7-inch uh, LED lights. Um, I bought these several years ago for about 30 bucks for the pair. There are these. And these, if you can tell in the video, but the lens is starting to yellow really badly. And it looks clear in the video, but when you turn the light on, you'll, know what I'm, you'll see what I'm talking about. This one, too. Also, right after I installed these, this whole section went out, this six section. And... I had a mechanic working out of this truck and he would ask me about it one day and I told him, hey, it's probably like a surface mount component just falling off or a diode or something. So if you take it apart, you know, watch for real little bitty pieces. And of course he took it apart, lost the pieces, you know, lost the piece. And I can fix it, you know, I could solder another deal on there, but I'm not going to worry about it. I mean, these were like 35 bucks for the, the deal. So Oxbeam is emailing me back and forth about uh, sending me some, uh, some free lights and me making a video about them. Now, I want them to send me um, new lights for the back, these lights, um, some 7-inch uh, lights for the front, a light bar, and some uh, interior lights for the um, uh, inside of my toolboxes, and some lights for here. That's what I'm after. Now, if I can get all that free and they send me the product and it, it's, you know, uh, um, I think it's, you know, legitimate product, then I'll make a video about it. Now, if I get them and I think they're junk, I'm going to put up a video about them being junk, and I guess I could pull an AVE that can send me a cease and desist letter. But, I mean, from all the YouTuber reviews online, it seems to have a pretty decent product. Um, if I wasn't in the market for lights, and I wouldn't, you know, it's like, nah, you know, go show your stuff somewhere else. But I actually need the lights, so I can actually use them. These, um, I'll go ahead and turn my lights on and show you. That's my little light station right there that was something else i bought that adapter plug-in and i got fried and i gotta have my truck fried it for me what are employees for all right so you can tell half of this one is out now you can really tell how yellow this lens has gotten um and half the leds don't work um those leds do work something else is i have these rigged up to my reverse light so anytime my reverse lights come on these come on which is and it's one of the best things I've ever done. To, I've had I've done it to every service truck I've had. Best thing you can do to service trucks, and even on like regular pickups, put you some bright ass lights on the back, hook them up to your reverse lights, because you go back and up, there's a little bitty round incandescence. And even if you put LEDs on these, they're just not very bright. And on the new trucks, they're just not very bright. I mean, luckily you got cameras on new trucks, but so something else. I've been watching these um Oxbeam. Uh, reviews online and I'm a lot of them are pretty cringy I don't think the guys who have the lines really know how to test them or you know, like real what I consider a real world world test not saying everybody on YouTube is like that but there's a lot of guys that kind of like this is a very great product because I hooked it up and it worked or they come out with these tests that I, I mean, it's, the, the, the tests aren't real world tests to me vibration moisture um, amp draw and heat what i want to know about these things and you know longevity of actually being on something and vibrating not um, um throwing them off the back of your truck and um, drag them down the road and see if they work so if i do get these i'm going to measure the amp draw on the uh, on these amp draw on the ox beam 
I've got a FLIR camera. I'm going to make the, um, uh, I guess I'm going to show you the FLIR camera. I'm going to do a comparison between the two, see how much heat um, each one is putting out. Um, the one, now, uh, one part of the deal is the ones from Oxbeam that I'm asking for is the RGB, which is red, green, blue, LED, uh, multicolor ones. These are just a single color one. I want the multicolors because I'm a volunteer fire department or a firefighter. And when I'm responding to the scene, I can run red and blue lights. And the RGBs, they have a function on there to run red and blue lights, uh, like a strobe pattern. Now, something about that, if you guys um, ever get the, if you're in the fire department, you get the bright idea of doing that. If you run red and blue lights running down the road to a scene and you have an accident, your insurance company is not going to cover anything because you're using it for emergency responder and your insurance isn't, isn't for that. Now, I have commercial insurance on this truck, um, but it doesn't cover that. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use it for when I show up on scene with my truck. As soon as I get on scene and the truck's parked, then I'll turn them on and they'll, they'll show up red and blue. But I'll show you, uh, this is that FLIR camera I was talking about. So you can uh, see if I can get all this. So this is the same kind of do, thing I'll do with the uh, theirs versus these. I don't know if there'll be any kind of difference or not, but I'm curious to see the um, how much heat these things actually put out. Yeah, see that one, all 12 of them are working. Do that, see how many amp difference uh, put out. I'm gonna buy a, a Lux meter, which is a, uh, uh, measures how many lumens how much power output um, these have that the other ones have. That's something else that I um, I haven't seen anybody else do. They get these lights, they put them on, and say, oh yeah, these are definitely brighter. But, I mean, can't really prove it, the other than their word of mouth. So the goal is to have two of those seven inch lights up here to replace these. These lights um, are pretty much only good to give um, uh, you know, kind of like your drunk uncle that's, you know, your gay drunk uncle. They flop, flop around and they shine, but they really don't do anything. So, replace both of these at the 7-inch, put a light bar on top, um, get the lights in the back, and get some of the lights to go up underneath in here um, for all the tool uh, toolboxes and everything. And this bed cover in the back that slides open, I want to have um, some LEDs inside that go down on each side so when I open it up at night I can see the main reason I want so many lights is because unless you work in the field and you do nighttime road calls, you really don't know what I'm talking about. You cannot have enough light. I mean, you just, you need more and more light. And then sometimes I got to sit on the side of the highway and I wish I had something that had kind of a strobe uh, function. So you can't, unless you're an emergency responder, you know, going to an emergency call, you can't strobe red and blue. But I can strobe like, um, I could do an amber color. I could do green. You know, green matches a truck. Uh, do all that stuff so um look for those videos i will do the review on a truck but i need to chucky and i are going to make a new front bumper um i just bought some new headlights because these are pieces of shit these headlights aftermarket projector headlights um the, i mean i've only had these for about a year and a half i think or maybe about a year this did have those square um recessed lights in them i, I dumped those out put these in these leak all around the top they fill up full of water now i know you can get rtv silicone and you can actually silicone around them and you can make them um you know, you know watertight or whatever but they're just they're shitty anyway so i bought a new pair of lights chuck you're not gonna make a front bumper then we're gonna make a rear bumper um i need to do a little more work to it and then i'll make a video about it but that kind of gives you guys um i'm kind of rambling on and on that gives y'all update of what's going on in my life and I guess those of y'all that are in closer to Fort Worth can um, look forward to me being closer to Fort Worth. So Chucky and I can make more videos together. Chucky and I are in the process of working on something you can't really go into details with. Um, but if it comes to fruition, uh, he and I will see a lot of each other. And um, it'll, it'll be, I don't know, it'll be exciting. It'll be fun. I hate that I can't go into details about it, but um, well, we can, you know, I can, Chucky can't, whatever, but I guess y'all can kind of put two and two together and figure out what's going on, but, so, that's it for now, I didn't really have any good videos today, tomorrow I've got a really good video going on about a, um, or I'm filming a video about doing a delete on a Dodge, a DPF delete, um, 
hopefully I'll do all the footage of it and I get it loaded on Monday. So if you got any questions about anything I've said, comment below. And guys, give me your, your honest advice about these lights. Um, <clears throat> I didn't make a YouTube video to get free stuff. I didn't make a, I don't make YouTube videos to get sponsors. I make YouTube videos because I like it. I think I've got a lot of knowledge and a lot of tips. And some guys out there, um, I think I make a little more, a little bit better of a video, like how to um, explain it uh, a little better. Even if I'm not explaining the same job better, at least there's a, a, a multitude of explanations on the internet for people. So if you get, you know, stuck on something, you're searching YouTube, you found my video, and you know my explanation actually makes sense, rather than the other guy's explanation doesn't. But I'm, I'm not. I'm undecided about doing the, um, uh, accepting the lights from this company. I don't, you know, I don't want to make a video where I'm just all about, um, you know, I'm no, yeah, super salesman, you should buy these lights because they're great. And, you know, all that kind of bullshit that goes on in YouTube. Um, probably going to do the video anyway, even if, you know, half of you say, you know, that's a terrible fucking idea, but, um, just because I need some lights and I'd rather not pay for them myself. But if I do get them and they are junk, then I will say, you know, I will make a video saying they are junk. Um, I think these are pieces of shit. You guys shouldn't buy them. Well, anyway, got any questions? Comment below, like, subscribe, whatever the hell the deal is. Like, uh, dislike, um, uh, subscription button or whatever. And get the out and fix something.